You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next uh, video in the McDonald's Happy Meal Magic Series. This is the McNugget Snack Maker. Make delicious snacks you can eat that look like McDonald's Chicken McNuggets. Now, I emphasize look because this machine does not use real chicken. So, you know, it's a kid's toy, and it was meant for kids to come home or you know, have time on the weekends or at night to just kind of play around with food and experiment and make different kinds of snacks. Now, in the original video, I didn't have the stickers on, so I up upgraded this one here with the stickers, and it's basically all set, so I'll show you a little bit about the machine in the next phase here, but let's just go over the instructions so I can uh, let you know what's going on. So here is the unit, the cleaning, and then the preparation but I want to get to the recipes because in the first video I just made one recipe but today I'm feeling a little adventurous so we'll see what we get done here but see what I'm saying here it says name of your own recipe so kids can come in here create their own recipes and then write them down so that was the fun part of the machine uh, so there you go there's the rest of that series so uh, we'll get to the last three in the next video but for now, I need to get all my ingredients in, and we need to get started. Uh, well, actually, I'll just go over all the ingredients for recipe one, and then we'll get started with that recipe. Okay, here we go. I have all the ingredients to make the first Chicken McNugget recipe. I have Rice Krispies, uh, bread, and I'm using Wonder Bread, and then this honey, and then sugar and cinnamon. Now, that's your own mix. So you take sugar and mix cinnamon. So I did about a tablespoon of sugar and maybe a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a little bit of water, and that's your first honey and water mixture, which is going to go into this chamber here. Now, we'll do other bread, so I'm going to move this out of the way. And it also calls for corn flakes, another cereal, but I'm going to use Rice Krispies first, because that's what the first recipe calls for. And then the cinnamon sugar, here, I can mix that up right now. I will use a little mixer I have. And this is really to taste. So if you want it more cinnamony, you can add more cinnamon. Or if you don't like cinnamon, then don't put a lot in there. Or if you want another spice, put it in there. All this is really to what you like and the tastes you have. So don't use it if you don't like it. All right, so now that is mixed. All right, there we go. So that will be added in a little bit. And then back to the machine now. Here, let's go over that a little bit and see what's involved with that. And go over all the component pieces. Now, there's a spot in the back, which I didn't show you in the original video, where you put your tongs, but we'll need them, so that's why I have them out. And then this compartment here does come off, and this actually does uh, can be removed for cleaning, so that makes it easier. And you just set this on there. And then this is a little pushing tray, which can go in here and you push down as you're uh, breaking up the Rice Krispies. And then this actually can come out. And this is part of the mixing action. So it's creating the sifting motion. This is your little dipping tray where we're going to put the honey in the water. And then here's the press system. Now this system will not work unless this piece, well first you got to take this off. It still will not completely go because it needs this piece in place. And once that's in place, then it will press and come back. All right, so we don't need that. We'll move that out of the way. It's going to stay up like that. So now it called for honey and water. And it was a specific amount, so we're going to follow what they say. One tablespoon of honey. Let's do that. a lot of pressure on that okay I'll just let that kind of settle and then one teaspoon of water so I have uh, oh here's my teaspoon okay and this gets mixed up I'll just use that as kind of like a scooper now I don't need it now so I'll just 
set it back in my bowl off to the side. And then I'm going to use my tongs to mix because this is what we're going to be using to grab the big nuggets anyway. So that's the first step. Just get some preparation ready. Now we need to grind the cereal part. There we go. That's a nice consistency. Okay. So I will show you that in the instructions here. Alright, so lift up screen, which is what we need to do. Pour a small amount of crispy cereal into hopper with scoop. So here's your scoop. Let's get this going. I didn't get anything ready. It's kind of like, let's do it while we're in the video together. Okay, I'll just leave the box there. And then turn handle slowly to grind cereal into basket. Use scoop to press cereal into hopper. See, they show you mixing. I kind of did the, uh, got that set already because I knew it was coming up. Well, there's my little scoop. Okay, and I can use this to press. And you'll see it's going to grind it out and then start moving down in the lower section. Now, this is loud. And this was loud in the first video, too. Keep pressing and grinding. I'm going to put a little more in there and then I'll just give you a little better angle shot there. There we go. Let's look right into that uh, grinder there. Okay, so I'm pressing and grinding. I need a good amount in there because that's where your your nuggets are going to sit. I think I'm going to go one more scoop here. Okay. That looks good. So what I'm doing up here is I'm just holding and pressing here. And you can kind of see the grinder's like in this lower section, so I'm trying to push it into there and press at the same time. Okay, so that is set. So let's uh, move this back a little bit. Here, I'll tell you what, let me reset up everything and we'll come right back and do the bread. Okay, well, here we go. The next step is the bread. So let me get that going. Just got to take a few slices out here. I'm going to do it right on my countertop. Okay, so they really just want you to start with one slice and then you're taking this little tool here and you're pressing down and you're basically cutting out circles and it says you can wiggle it like that to make it cut better. Okay, and then you do it a second time. So it's two layers of bread. Then wiggle it. Okay, so now that piece is done. So now you're going to take your machine in here. All right, and you got to get your die in, okay? And you're going to stick this in now. Oops, sorry. And now you can press this in, and it's going to form the nuggets. That's going to pop back, and you'll see it in here now. See them? They form. And then they want you to take your tongs, pull them out. All right, and then you move them into the... Honey, but I'm just going to pop them out now. So I'm going to make a few sets here before we get too involved. So they want to pull that out. Set that there. And then make another batch here. So let's do it. I think you can get another set out of this piece of bread. And if you're worried about wasting bread, you know, make breadcrumbs out of it or do something with it. Okay. It's okay if they pop out. Just put them back in. There you go. Here, I'll show you this step a little closer. And then you just push, and that's how it's going to press in. And then they pop out. It's easier for me just to grab them than use those 
uh, tongs. Okay, and then let's do another one while we're here. See that really good here? I think I can squeeze it out. It's okay, you get a little crust in there. There you go. Okay. Now let's get a really different angle here. So you can see a different shot of the pressing from this side. Okay. And you can see the bread's already hit the end there. Okay. So what I want to do now is reset this here. And now the process now is to dip it in here and put it in there. Get another bowl I have handy here. I'm going to make a bunch before I test them and show you the next steps of eating, right? So you put them in there and you let them soak up. So I'll do three without cinnamon sugar. Then you put them in here. Let me do a few. You could do a few. don't have to do just one. These tongs are hard to use. I remember the first video I struggled with them also. Because they don't give back, so you got no way to open them. So I'm using my finger to do that. Okay. And it pushes on them. See that? All right, so then you take this, and here's where it gets loud. They bounce around. This is what's coating them now. Okay, that's a nice coating, right? And then you can open this now because you don't want this here. And you can use the top bin now to kind of, you know, siphon it out. There you go. And if you grind again now, it's going to bring all that stuff back down. Okay, coming back in. So now I'm bringing all that cereal back. Yes, it's loud. I'll save you that. And I'm going to take my nuggets that I've made so far and move them to this dish. Okay, so let's do another one now. Let's put a little cinnamon sugar in there. And let me see. Let me grab one of my measuring spoons. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit in there. A little more. And mix that up. It's kind of like I'm doing whatever I want to do. So I don't have to, you know, do exactly what they say. That's the best part. Ooh, look at how brown that turned. Okay, there we go. So let's make... Oh, we have them made. Let me just put them in here. Get them mixed around. close up of that bin here you can see my nuggets soaking in the bin how's that so I'm just kind of turning it around trying to anyway there we go I'm trying to pick it up with these now we can grind again there so now you're closer to the nuggets with that so you'll open the top now well you don't have to open the top I'm gonna pour these over the top that's what I want to say Ooh, almost fell out okay so now there you can see the little variance in color here between the first ones and the second ones now see the color difference all right so I need to uh, Get set up for the next recipe. So let me do a little cleanup and we're going to come back and do the next one. 
All right, we've moved on to recipe number two. Now that was the Wonder Bread, the uh, maple syrup, and then crispy rice cereal again. So I've left my crispy cereal in there, cleaned out this little compartment, and I still have some of the original ones, but then I'm bringing in two new breads because here's where we can experiment a little. I've got a gluten-free bread, so I'll make a set with that. Now that's a thicker bread, denser. Um, so we'll see how that works. And then it also says right in the instructions here, uh, wheat bread for dark meat nuggets. Isn't that cool? So now I'm going to make some dark meat nuggets. I'll take out a slice or two of that. Move that off to the side. So now we're just going to be stamping and forming. And then it also called for maple syrup in the tray. So there was no recipe to mix it with any water either. So we're just going to put it in. You could probably still add your cinnamon sugar to that. And you could probably toast these. You know, I wonder if we should give that a quick shot at the end. Okay, so let's take this out. Which bread do you want to try first? Well, let's do this one here. That's a much thicker, denser bread. So I'm not sure I need two, but I'm going to try it anyway, and I don't think I'm going to need it. See how much more that comes out compared to the, the white bread. So what I'll do is I'll leave one as a single, okay, and then we can test it that way. And see if that's going to work better. Definitely thicker. There we go. Let's see if it even presses. Well, it presses. You can see my press is starting to misshape a little. So before I go any further, let me take that out. I don't know if it's going to let me now. There we go. I'm going to make these singles, and I bet you we'll be just fine. Yeah, let me grab one of these tall ones here. Okay, there we go. I guess that's part of experimentation. Huh? Now press. Ooh, much better. See? So that's just a single form bread there. Okay. Let me get my bowl here and put them next to the other one so you can kind of see the white bread to the gluten-free. Now let's do that again here, but this time, let's do the wheat. There we go. Kind of lock that into place. So I'll do it this way, going two cuts. There's one, and two. go. Another pressing. Okay, now these didn't stick as good as the other one. See? They didn't stick together, so the wheat bread doesn't seem to stick as well. Let's do it one more time. This time I'll press and hold just a little bit longer. But that's okay, because we can use them as single ones, see? So we've got the gluten-free, the white bread, and then the wheat bread in the middle. Okay, so that's our order of bread. Now I just want to see if I can get these to stick a little bit better. Okay, another chance here, wheat bread. Here's your last chance. So I'm gonna just hold that for a little bit longer. I bet you if you just slightly wet it too, it might help out. Let's see. Okay, that did work a little better. Experimentation. Now we've got a lot, a lot of dipping and grinding to do. So since we've already made the regular ones, let's do a couple wheat ones in here. So I'll throw a wheat. I'm going to move that over to the next bin here. And I should have got some better tongs. Ooh, look at that. 
Okay, and then I'll do one of the gluten free. What I might do is I'll do these two since you know this process. Then I might make a few more just to have them, and then I'll clean up for the next recipe before we get to tasting everything. I just like doing it. I don't know why. It's just fun. I like to see them toss around like that. Okay, so let me bring in my plate so you can kind of see where we're progressing now. This was the first batch, the second batch. This is the wheat bread one, so I'm going to put it over here. It kind of looks like the cinnamon ones. Then here's the gluten-free, which is thicker. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up. I'm going to make a few more of these flavors and come back and do the next recipe. Okay, we're on to the next recipe, and I don't know if you picked it up, but the last one I didn't actually take it. After they were sifted here, I didn't take it, dump it back in, and then run it through again. I just pulled them from here and put them to the plate. So you don't necessarily have to dump it up there. It just seemed easier to grab them from here, all right? So I might do that next time, too. But the next one calls for two slices of bread, pudding, and I'm going to use chocolate pudding. Mmm, Jell-O brand. Yeah, I just licked the lid. Now you spread that between two pieces of bread. Now here's where... You can really do whatever you want. You want to use marshmallow fluff? Use marshmallow fluff. If you like Nutella, use Nutella. They say you can even use peanut butter and jelly. And be prepared to eat the leftovers. It doesn't say how much. Let me see if I can get a better spread here. It's soggy now. Okay, that looks about right. I don't want to overdo it. Then you push, put this back on top. And then you cut with your tool. Now you don't necessarily have to run this through the press again because it's just going to squish it all out. So you can just cut them. It seems to make a nice little sandwich package there basically. And pop them out. See? Like that. So what do you want to use? Peanut butter? Go ahead. Nutella, go ahead. Marshmallow fluff, whatever you want. You want to put chocolate in your bin, then use chocolate. Let me move that out of the way. So I went back to the honey and water mixture, and I'm just going to dump these in. Now it did say, do this quickly. Don't let it soak too long. But, you know, sometimes I'm just talking and forget about what I'm doing. And then you can just let it drain out over here. Just let it drain. Come on, tongs. If anything drips off, see that couple drips there? Done. I'll make one more in this batch here. Then I'll just do the rest off camera. I'm struggling with the tongs. But I want to use what came with the set. Okay, so I'll let that drip a little bit. And one more run through the system here and my mouth is watering Ooh, look at that chunky cereal mm. whoa hey stay on there so again last time I skipped this part here but you could take this now well you got to take this out Then put it up here, kind of sift out everything. Then put it back and do this. And it's supposed to shake these up again. But as you can see, it's not really doing much of a shaking there. But it is re-grinding this to a smaller powder. Let me put these on this plate. I got a lot going on here. So let me make a few more of these. We come back, what do you think, maybe one more quick recipe? Yeah, we're going to do one more quick recipe when I come back. All right, here we go. I am back. Now, the next recipe called for a different kind of cereal. This one called for frosted cornflakes, and it's using the Wonder Bread, which I had some already made, remember, so I'm going to use those, and then dipping in the vanilla pudding. Now, that one looked interesting, so I'm going to put some pudding in my little tray. Now, when I do clean up, I haven't been going crazy here. I just kind of wipe it down real quick and then I can move on to the next recipe. 
So uh, what do I want to do? I don't know what I want to do. I'm so excited. Uh, Jell-O pudding. Let's put that in a little container. How's that for a topping, huh? And of course, I'm not done. I think what I'm going to do is for final presentation, I'm going to toast a few of these. Why not? Give it a shot, huh? See what it's like in the toaster? Now cornflakes, so I'm going to have to use my hand. Much bigger, different kind of coating. It called for actual frosted cornflakes. Alright, so it's the grinding again. I spared you some other grinding, but it's time now. Time for the grinding. And how this is working here is there's a little piece that's connected to the gear in here, and that's what's bouncing up and down. See that? Aren't those great noises? The grinding and the crushing and the grinding and the crushing. Okay, I need a little bit more up there. I don't purposely do that to annoy everybody. It's the way it is. Okay, I think that's enough to cover three. And then let's bring in a couple here. Definitely going to be more of a challenge to cover in this now, but let's see what happens. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. How's that? It's going to stick better, that's for sure. Look at that. Ooh. Pudding. I'll get all three in there. That's the last one. I've got so many made, so... When we come back after this and we see how these work, I'll show them all to you, okay? Toast a few. Well, that one's sticking to the bottom. Get in there. Act nice with your other nugget friends. There you go. want them to split apart and not be joined. Okay, that's better. This time I'm going to use the upper section here. There, nice different cereal component there. So let me move these. Okay, so I'm going to make an assortment here, get them into that toaster oven, and I'll come back and go through them all and have a taste test. All right, I've got everything cleaned up. The machine is uh, all set to go for the next batch, but right now I am done. Maybe for another video. So here is just a couple boxes I set up with some of the ones I made. There was the chocolate uh, pudding ones in between two layers. And then I've got this set here was basically just a mixture of all the ones that I've done. So on the plate now, I toasted up one of each kind. So this is the regular white bread, this was the gluten-free bread, this was the cinnamon sugar, or the wheat, I'm sorry, and then this was the cinnamon sugar, I think. I don't know, I'll have to take a bite. And then this was the pudding one with the cornflakes. I'm going to try one of those first because they're right there and ready to go. Mm -hmm. Really strong flavor of the cornflakes, which are good, of course. And let me have one of these toasted ones. I'll take a bite and I'll see if this is the I think that's the wheat bread. Now they're good toasted. This is the gluten free. You hear how crispy they are? Mmm. Really good. Between toasted and not toasted, I'm leaning towards toasted. Now here is one of the ones that was the pudding filled, so it's not toasted. I'll take a bite, and you can see the pudding inside. Now that one's tasty. 
but I like the toasted ones better. And these are good too. They're all good. You know, it's all stuff you have around the house. So don't forget, you can do all of these things without the machine. I gave you uh, most of the recipes there. Hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see the other ones in this series, been releasing them every Friday, then look in the description for a playlist or search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.